Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be an all-time classic, a hairstyling tutorial. As you can see, the hair is quite the mess and we all haven't had haircuts now for probably over two months. So I'm going to show you how to style your long lockdown hair. First things first, wash and wet your hair. And then what we're going to do, all you're going to need is a brush like this. You're going to need the Asand Volume Cream and we're gonna use some original Stylin Meraki to finish off the hair and to give it a little bit of hold. First things first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply some of this. So about three pumps, not too much. Rub it through the hands. It smells absolutely insane by the way. Okay, so that is the pre-styler in the hair and as you can see, it's quite out of control. So now we need to brush it back. And obviously it doesn't look very good at the minute, but because we've used the volume cream, what normally happens is my hair dries and almost thickens out and like almost falls forward. And I would normally literally just leave it like that. And with this warm weather that we've been getting, I know I jinxed it in one of my previous videos saying it was absolutely freezing. I've actually got burnt in the last few days, so I'm actually peeling. But I would just literally leave it like that. And by the time I go outside, I go in the car, I go and do whatever, I get on with my day, it normally dries really, really nice. So that's how I've been styling my hair up until now. Or, as I said, you can just make sure it's sitting nice and literally put a cap on, a baseball cap. Normally backwards is better. And just let it sit under there and literally leave it to dry. And I promise you, when you take your cap off, your hair will be looking sick. First things first, want to get a bit more volume in the hair and some waves using this brush. So all I'm doing is I'm brushing the hair and turning it like this and that allows me to blow dry in there which is going to lift the hair and give a bit of volume. Then we only really want to do that to the front. If your hair is a little bit longer near the back, mine is a tiny bit shorter than what it is at the front. You can do it at the back too so it all goes the same way. But I'm just going to leave the back quite messy and unstyled. So you can see literally how long my hair is right now. It is getting out of control. That is insane. So yeah, now we're gonna finish drying the rest of the hair and we're gonna leave it quite messy. So you can see how much volume we we'll have in the hair already. I can literally pretty much style it just using the pre-styler. It's actually insane. Once your hair is dry, you can then turn the settings on your hair dryer to make it a cool setting. So. Right, so I'm actually going to show you two styles because my hair is having a good day, I think. So I'm going to show you kind of a messy pushed over quiff, and then I'm going to show you kind of a middle part and curtains. So let's try and do the quiff first. I'm going to go over to the left. Obviously this side here has been a bit kind of fluffy and all over the place, so I'm going to use tiny bit of styling Meraki to kind of close that down, neaten that down. So literally the tiniest amount ever. Not even a full finger. Probably half a pea size. When people normally refer to pea sizes, we're going for a half a pea size. Get it rubbed into the hands. Nice and warm through the fingers. And again, just rubbing it through all the hair. And this is just going to give us more control over to the left, like so. And there we go, what I would normally do from now, I'm gonna turn the brightness up so you can kind of see it a bit better. Come on, come on, come on. And that's kind of it finished there. And now what I would do is normally spray a little bit of hairspray on because obviously this is quite a big quiff and that would fix the nice quiff in place. 
I'm actually loving having long hair. And again, I've pulled a little bit down here just to add a little bit of something different. Give me kind of like a fringe. But again, the good thing about the Meraki and not using hairspray is that you can rework it any way you want. Okay, so, haircut number one. Haircut, hairstyle, it's certainly not a cut. And I actually really, really like how that's turned out. Just not the table. Come down so you can see it a bit better. And we've got all of that volume from the pre-styling cream and obviously using the blow dryer. But, in my opinion, that looks very nice. I wonder if I can give you a spin. Ha! Huh. Nice little spin. Okay, so that is style number one. If the next style doesn't work, we're ending it on this one. But I'm actually really happy with how that looks. And to be honest, I probably don't even need a haircut. If we are going for the quiff, I would probably brush my sides kind of forward or just down rather than back. Sick products from Blue Man. I will put a discount code in the description. But yeah, that's how I've been rocking my hair during lockdown. And again, if you want to be able to rework your hair, make sure you don't use hairspray because hairspray is going to set it and it's going to make it very hard to rework. I'm back again. And whilst my hair is looking sick like this, it is a shame to ruin it. But we're going to try and do the kind of middle part and curtains. See if we can rework it with the product on and let's just see what we can go for. So this is a little bonus. And a lot of you on Instagram do seem to like the curtain style that I've been rocking. I'm first of all going to pull it all forward. Like so. And then I'm literally just going to part it in kind of a middle part. So we're literally just kind of guiding it, pulling the hair through so that it sits that way. Obviously it is hard, but I've got quite a lot of volume in it from using the hair dryer. That's why it's better almost if you do this style just by letting it sit and dry on its own. But we will get there. I'm gonna try and flatten it with this. Right, so this is the trouble with curtains. One side always gets like the nice wave and bend into it and another side doesn't, which is this side today. Normally it's the other way around. So brush it back and bring it forward. And normally if you haven't blow dried it too much, you'll be able to get the front to sit forward. And that's how you get the curtain look with like some nice volume. Again, it's literally trial and error. It's literally just making it as messy as you can and then kind of pulling your fingers through it with a little bit of product to make it Look, look, pulling your, fi pulling your fingers through it with a little bit of product. And that's how you're going to get it to sit nice. So again. So we're pretty much done. So guys, we've eventually got that natural curtain hairstyle that I've been wearing, sporting during lockdown. And this is my favorite style at the minute whilst my hair is long like this. Normally I wouldn't use the hairdryer. The hairdryer kind of adds a little bit too much volume at the roots, which is not really what you want for a curtain style. Um, again, like I said, brush it all back, use a pre-styler. Definitely the Ascend volume cream is very, very good because it lets it dry very naturally and it doesn't look like you have any product in, which is what you want when you're sporting a pair of curtains. Um, but again, when you're leaving it to dry, shake your head forward and tilt your head forward every now and then so that the hair can fall forward and come down in front of your face because that's the whole point of curtains. They're gonna shape your face. And finally, we got it done. It was a little bit harder because we used the hair dryer and we went straight into this from the previous hairstyle, which was already sick. But yeah, this actually looks way nicer in my opinion in real life than it does on the camera. You can't really see it that well. And again, because I have got those nice blonde bits, it adds a bit more texture, which I think looks very nice. Again, like I said, I have not had my haircut for probably 10 weeks now. I did a self haircut video about two months ago. And to be honest, I'm not in desperate need for a haircut. I'm actually enjoying it. I'm embracing it. And I'm trying new styles. So the two products used again was were the Ascend Volume Cream and the Blue Man Original Style and Meraki. Both great products and I would highly recommend them. And there will be a discount code 
somewhere on the screen and down below in the description. So make sure you tag me on Instagram in your lockdown long hair styles. I wanna see what they look like. I wanna see if you're rocking curtains. And yeah, no hairstyle is the bad hairstyle right now. Everyone is in the same situation and hopefully the barbers will be open again soon. But not that I'm gonna rush to get my hair cut because I'm vibing with the curtains. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.